Carol, great turnout for, for International Women's Day. What does it mean to you? Well, for me, it's about celebrating women's role in the struggle, which for, for many people goes right back to the formation of the Common Mom, but even further back than that. Um, I mean, there's been women throughout our community and our society who've been campaigning for rights for everybody over decades. And I mean, it was the role of women in my community in North Belfast that got me engaged, involved in Republican politics. It wasn't the events of history. So, um, and it isn't just about gender equality, it's about equality and fair treatment for everybody. So, and that's one thing that we pass on from one generation to another. I mean, you can see a lot of young people here and I suppose their battle will be different from mine and mine will be different from the people who came before me. But I think the thread that unites us all together is the Republican ethos and all that comes with it. I know it's cliche, but we're all starting on big shoulders. And I suppose that aspect of International Women's Day is something that's common right across the globe, regardless where you're coming from. So, so the day we're in this garden, built by women for women, and it's totally appropriate that we're here today. Well, I think it's important that we recognise the sacrifice that women, uh, not only in Ireland but all over the world, have, have fought, have campaigned for justice and equality for women. Uh, if you go back over a hundred years ago, there, there was an issue uh, around the 1916 rebellion when Common Amon got involved in that campaign. Then you had the issue where women didn't even have the opportunity to vote. You also had the issue where you know we, we had women in this state that who couldn't even access proper housing. So women have been to the fore, in my view, to a lot of campaigns, as I say, not only in Ireland, but all over the world. So it is important that we recognise that. It is important that we recognise the fact that women are probably uh, to the fore of, of still a lot of them campaigns. But we need to get women involved in the political campaign, in politics, in, in elected office, so that they can make a real difference. I mean, I, I got elected when I was a young woman, and it was tough. It's, it's still tough today as a woman being in politics, so it's important that we, we make it easier for young women to get involved. And International Women's Day to me allows us to recognise, commemorate, celebrate those who went before us, but they also make it easier for those who are coming after us. By this time, all over Ireland, other groups like ours, filled with the same intensity, the same determination to make the Irish Republic, no matter how short-lived, a reality of which history would have to take account. Margaret Skinner, Common Man since Stephen's Green, Easter 1960. Well, women play a comparatively strong role in the rising and civil war, but afterwards disappeared into oblivion, gaining little or nothing in the rights of women. We have only ourselves to blame if such reoccurs. It's our country, and as women nationalists <coughs> active in the struggle, we must not halt at the halfway mark, but follow it through until we have achieved all our aims. PRO, protesting POWs. Armagh Jail, International Women's Day. A small minority, the Republicans, refused to be humiliated and passed down the torch of resistance from generation to generation. I'm not su surprised I became a Republican activist. I'm proud to have been close to the blanket men, to the women in Armagh and to the hunger strikers. We lost 10 brave men in 1981, but the British lost the argument and ultimately lost the conquest. Mary Moore, Belfast First Sinn Féin Deputy. Or volunteers. And the men ought to remember that without sacrifice of women, there would be no struggle. IRA statement. Everybody in this country is oppressed, but we can only end our oppression as women if we end the oppression as a nation as a whole. But I don't think that alone is enough. This isn't the first time that women have been seen as secondary. But women today have been through so much that we refuse to let this be. I hope I am still alive when the British are driven out and the struggle begins anew. Maria Farrell. As a young woman, it's just very important. It's, today is all about empowerment. It's all about empowerment of women and what better place to do it than through Sinn Féin. You know, as a young woman, I feel very empowered by Sinn Féin to, to represent my community. Um, I feel very supported by Sinn Féin in terms of, you know, the efforts that they put in to help me achieve you know my potential so I think it's very important events like this just to mark the sacrifice that the women have made as the republicanism over the past you know hundreds and hundreds of years and also it's it's a time to look to the future and um, it's a time to think about our young women that are coming through um, and many of the young women here today are just fantastic you know their energy their enthusiasm their motivation it, it's just lovely to be around
throughout my childhood growing up. I've had very strong Republican women all around me. My grandmother, who I'm named after, Emma Groves, my own mother, um, even though our own women in our own community who were the backbone of the struggle um, right throughout my whole childhood. So I've been very lucky that I'm in a position now where I've had all those strong women in my life and have had those women that I can look up to. As a female who sits um, as a Sinn Féin councillor in Belfast City Council, I'm honoured that I'm able to do that job and I'm, that I'm in that position um, because of the women that have came before me that have paved the way for me to sit as a Belfast City Councillor. And I hope that in my role um, as a female, as a Republican, that I can pave the way for our future generations, not just females, but also males as well, to take up the gauntlet as we move on forward in the struggle. International Women's Day for me is a really, really important day. It's a celebration of women's activism you know, through, throughout the world and a recognition of the challenges that um, women still face across all aspects of society because of course um, issues like sexual violence, domestic violence, the underrepresentation of women are all important challenges facing us today. We all know that austerity is hitting harder, is hitting women harder than, than any other, other group. Um, and I think today's event is, is really, really important for us as Republicans because we're out celebrating International Women's Day for what it means to us and we're also um, celebrating the centenary of coming to man which is a really um, important part of our, our own history because as, as we know women have played such a vital role in republicanism um, you know throughout, throughout our own history and I suppose a key message is what happens next and it's important for all of us to um, encourage younger women to come forward as well and to continue building, building that strength. A decent housing and an end to British gerrymandering. And what was the state's response to those very basic requests? The beaten baton, the marchers of Bertilla, the beat them in the crowd on their knees while the IUC stood the hillsides and laughed at the pain inflicted upon them. But we're not on our knees. No, no. The crappy boy will never lay down like a phoenix rises out of the ashes. So do you, the people. And as always, it's not those that can inflict the most, but those that can endure it that will win the battle. Yeah. And sure as the Irish experts have endured from Cromwell to this present day, the British and Orange paymasters have been inflicted death and oppression to our people. But now, we will bring the fight to their door. We are a resident people. Look around you. Look behind you. See the RUC listen to every word. They fear you. When they have to second guess what you're thinking. Yes, they fear you. They have the weapons, the technology, and the might of the British war machine behind them. And still, they fear you. For 500 years, they have tried to defeat people like us. They cannot, and they will not, for we have an army. It's the army of the people. It will defend you. Okay. It was a very good turnout to the, the garden today to commemorate uh, International Women's Day and ov obviously with it being the centenary year of the common demand, I tried to get the message across about the people, the struggle that they had um, many years ago and obviously there's a wee bit of improvement for women today and the struggle needs to continue. As you've seen there was um, quite a few young women in, in the crowd participating and involved in the activities. So with the elections coming forward and so many young candidates coming forward for the elections in the 26 and the 6 counties uh, and I hope those young women who have put themselves forward for election ha do get elected and uh, they continue the fight that we talked about and we commemorated here today. Oh, it was a fabulous event and it was great to see so many young women in particular here, you know, and I mean I think the importance of today is that 
while we're remembering people in, in other countries internationally that are still suffering it's also a celebration for women and you know we as I say the celebration aspect of it is important and certainly within the six counties women have come on in leaps and bounds and it is a celebration of what we have done and what we as you know women candidates in the upcoming elections are going to do in the future you know and I think that has come across very much in the doors people are delighted to see women being involved they're delighted to see young people being involved and it's just wonderful to be in Belfast today and celebrating with women throughout the 32 counties that have come here to the gardens just to recognize today and what it means for us one thing we don't recognize and I would say this as an Irish Republican woman and somebody who's intensely proud of my Republican beliefs one thing we don't actually give enough um, credit for is the proclamation of 1916 that firstly recognized the rights of women and that women should have rights and it, that preceded any other proclamation or documentation or recognition at all of, of women's rights so in that sense it was Irish Republicans once again that recognized rights for all and at a time when when people throughout the world did not not recognise women's rights and looked upon women as, as second-class citizens. So it's it's I'm truly proud to be here today, but also to recognise the the sheer um, commitment from republicanism right through to equality to this day. And we're as determined as we were right through the last 800 years to continue the struggle for equality and freedom.